Holy crap. Good day everyone, my name is Grabs and welcome to Escape from Tarkov. Now this is a game that's been around for a while, but uh, is now in beta and everyone seems to be playing it. So I figured I would too, because I'm a sheep like that. Um, it's kind of hardcore. I don't imagine that anything I do is going to go well. This is the first time I've ever played it. Uh, all I've done is check out my hideout, because I thought that was cool. Uh, and I've effectively taken everything out of my inventory. So I've just got a pistol and some basic meds. And we're just going to go and see what happens. I'm going to choose customs. Because I've got no idea. Alright. We're ready. So. Our, our aim here is just to get something and not die. I want to get through it and get to an exit. That's all. If you haven't played this game before or know anything about this game, essentially you play as a private military contractor who can go, who goes in and you need to effectively loot and boot. You loot, you kill and you get out. Alright, we're deploying in five seconds. I might die instantly, who knows? It could happen. It's pretty hardcore. Let's see. And the controls are pretty nuts as well. Like, there's not much on-screen display. There's not much else going on. you just got to try and... Just go with the flow. So we're just going to... Attempt. We've got a full mag. You have to check your mags. To make sure... That, um, that there's ammo in them. I don't know any of the map layouts. I don't know where the extraction point is. I'm completely blind at this point. But we just need to be vigilant. Or I might just cover shot to the head and that'll be game over. If you die, you lose everything that you have that you've brought with you into the game. Mask feels kind of floaty. I don't know if that's a design thing, but uh, I might need to look at my settings. And apologies for the clicky keyboard again. I'll get a new one that's not uh, so bloody loud. <sighs> Considering I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going, I'm kind of terrified actually. You have to double tap O to show where your extraction points are. The ones with question marks aren't guaranteed to be open or active. So I'm going to go for ZB1011, wherever the hell that is. God, I'm making so much noise. Just relax. So there's AI players and humans playing this. As AIs are called scavs. Don't ask me what that stands for. But um, you can also play as a scav if you like. Because if your character, like the one I'm playing as right now, gets injured or killed, then you have to wait till they heal up outside of the game. So there could be like some downtime. You can play as a scav who just gets a random loadout. And, um, and you go in and try and find stuff and get out again. We're going to run into the woods like the coward that we are. Now, this town over here could have enemies in it, for all I know. 
so what do I do? Just run through some bushes and make as much noise as possible. Might as well just fire some shots into the air as well at this rate. I don't see nor hear anyone. Is this door open because there's someone in here? Oh man, who the friggin' hell knows? Was that a footstep that I heard? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, there's, there's another one here. I don't know if there's any more. I'll just take that. And that. And this scabbard. And we need to listen for more. Take that. I'll check the ammo in this full clip. Okay. So that was actually terrifying. <laughs> That's what happens. That's Tarkov. <laughs> I thought this will be excellent. We've got uh, we've got all this loot. We're gonna get out. Next thing you know, bullet to the back of the head. All right, so we're in as a scav, and you can see we get like like a random loadout of weapons. Now our only enemies here are other players, which means absolutely nothing really. I'm probably just going to get shot in the head again. Well, I got shot in the thorax last time, but, you know, it's all the same when you die. Not, not knowing any of the maps, or any of their uh, extraction points, Old Road Gate or Sniper Roadblock are the two that we have available to us. Not knowing where any of them are, or the layout of any of these maps, is uh, quite the disadvantage. I would say. Because while in the last game I did kill a couple of scavs and got... Got, um... What's this? Got some loot. I don't know if I ever would have found the exit. This is probably a locked door. Yeah, can't do anything with that. This game is made in Unity, if you can believe that. The graphics are nuts, considering. Not the best I've ever seen, but feels super realistic. How the heck do I get out of this area? I'm just running around like an idiot. There's a little pathway around here. Okay. The other thing is, how do I know what's a scab and what's a player? Without letting them shoot me first. I guess I don't. Until I get until I get good at the game, which may or may not happen. Oh hello. 
That's a scav. So that means he's friendly to me. I believe. I guess I, I could try and kill him and then just bolt. But he might be more geared than me, I don't even know. I don't know how any of that works. I'd laugh so hard if it was just a player. And he shot me. But no, he's not. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Give myself about four seconds before another scab shoots me in the head. No one saw anything. Not that it matters, they'll still shoot me. I'm just asking for trouble here. Especially considering I have no fucking idea where the goddamn exit is. I have two to choose from. And 26 minutes to do it. Definitely someone nearby. Everyone's an enemy now that I've shot a scav. A fellow scav. Got him. But I don't know if that was who was shooting. We need to be careful. There's two guys here. I don't want to drop stuff. May have a repeat of uh, the last round. None of this is useful anyway. This scavs. There's also another another body here. Is that a player? This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Nothing on him. That could just be a corpse that spawned. I don't know if that's even a thing. There's a camp here. I don't think it's worth checking. We've got some buildings coming up as well. Door open over there. Don't know if that's meant to be. Don't know anything really, do I? God. Shots. Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. I'm a dead man. Got hit in the chest. And someone threw a grenade, I think. Yep. He's camping me here. I just walked out of the extraction zone. If I fucking die now. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that was intense. I can't believe I walked out of the extraction zone with like half a second left. All right, well we actually made it out alive somehow by some goddamn miracle. Kostyan Nervni. Nervni. 17 minutes. That was intense as. My heart rate through the roof.
Killed two scavs. Alright, so now we get to keep all this stuff that we got. So I'm just going to deposit it into my loot storage device. Sweet. Blood lost. 0 0.22 liters, I assume. Least damage area, head. That's always good. <laughs> One fracture. So I was like pretty injured. I mean, if I wasn't at the end of the extraction point like I was, it was, uh, def def well, I definitely needed to heal. But anyway, I can't believe I actually made it out alive. That's a bloody miracle that that happened. But, um, yeah. I think we might have hit level two, even. Which means we can start doing some quests, I think that lets us do now. I'll have to have a look at that. But I might play this again in another video. Uh, anyway, that's Escape from Tarkov. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment below and a like. And uh, hit that subscribe button so that you know when new videos are out. Hopefully I have another one up soon. I might play some more of this. Who knows? But uh, until then, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.